happy Halloween. So I don't know where Karen is. Um, for anybody who, if this is your first video, I'm Sarah and usually Karen does these videos with me, but she has decided to not show up. So um, it will just be me today. <laughs> Is that your workout for the day? Yeah. <laughs> oh man, do I love scaring people. Mm -hmm. Hey guys. We are so happy to be in October. It is a crisp 64 degrees it here it in is. Orlando. Is that what it is right now, 64 degrees? I looked at my phone. It's probably gone up since then. But it's like definitely like boot weather. For at least the morning time. I got my pumpkin Florida. spice latte because it was very appropriate for today. Mm -hmm. um, put up my Halloween decorations. Um, so today we are filming the video. Uh, it is September 30th for us. It'll be October 3rd for you. But I put up my Halloween decorations September 28th. I thought that that was safe. I saw that our neighbor put them up. That's good. And I was like, I never put up, but put I was like, I'm up. putting mine up then. Um, yeah. Yeah. Mine have been out all month because we had you guys over and Juliet wanted to make it a scary, yeah. a scary time. So it's just like haphazardly crud is all over my house right now because I don't have the motivation to actually organize it. Okay, so this is going to be the um, accessory trinket and clothing video. We're going to just do it all together. Um, we actually have a ton of clothing coming in well, today and then mm -hmm. we have a couple big shopping trips planned. Um, so we don't actually have as much clothing to show you guys as usual, but, um, but it's fine. We have a ton of home goods type mm -hmm. items. And I know we talked about the home goods box last month. Um, I'm not sure that we're going to get that together this year. It might be something that comes in January, but we'll just see how the next, um, how the next month yeah. or so goes and we might maybe we'll try to put something together for um christmas time for like gifts and stuff like that but yeah because yeah. we found something really cool for christmas oh That's we did home yeah good do we want to say i mean it's not that big i guess it's not that i big mean yeah you're really you're really building it sorry up. guys it's just a set of glasses, <laughs> glasses. but they're but really they're, they've got poinsettias on them yeah, and they are really cute, cute. Um, um and in great condition so we we're like Mm, but, but something great. that we have discovered as we've been going through the home goods type box stuff is that um, it will be costing a lot more to ship and to package everything um, because our price point, which um, I feel like when we first started, we talked a lot about like why we were at the price point that we were at and so much of it, um, which, you know, is unfortunate is is shipping overages it's packaging and stuff like that and so if we're having to get even more or thicker packaging for shipping home goods um we're just we're just trying to figure out the most cost effective way to get yeah. everything done but um but we have a lot of really great home goods to show you guys um so current subscribers to request an item you will screenshot everything that you love in this video and on instagram send it in one email to info at redbirdvintagebox.com um, with your name and October requests in the title and your full name and October requests in the title. Nothing more, nothing less. Um, that's all we need. Your name. Yeah. O October requests and a charge now if you're your charge if now. If you want to be charged now. Yeah. Otherwise, sometimes w if your subject line is too long, it cuts off, cuts off and we don't see it. Um, and, um, so these are all going up on the third and we will probably start putting stuff aside on like the fifth or the sixth. Um, and, um, and again, if, you know, with charge nails, we, we charge you as we do your box. So, um, you know, you don't some, I, I think we didn't get to all the charge nails last month. It's like everybody wants charge nails now. And, um, no, we did. Did we? I yep. think there were like five that came in at the last minute. There was one, I think that came in. Um, if you want to be a charge now, you've got to do a charge now by the 10th, because if we get a charge now on the 14th, it's like, well, yeah. your renewal is the next day. So, you know, your box isn't going to go out much earlier. So if you're charge now, let us know by, I mean, I'm going to say the fifth, but that's adventurous. Um, so well, and some of you like don't watch the videos when they, when they first come out. So we get it. But, um, but yeah, so if, if you're not charged and you're worried about it, you'll be charged on the 15th and it'll, mm -hmm. it'll, um, 
go out like usual. Um, requests are not guaranteed and they are not first come first serve. We try to divvy it up as well as possible. There will be some months that you request 10 items and your entire box is just filled with your requests because for whatever reason, nobody else requested your items or they requested a bunch of other items as well that we were just kind of able to, to divvy it up and there will mm -hmm. be some months, some months that you don't get any requests. Um, so yeah. Um, um, okay. So I guess let's go ahead and show some houseware stuff yeah. that I would love to keep for myself, so. but there, why? Okay. So I'm going to show this first. Now this is, you know, like a flower or a sugar jar or whatnot. It is super cute. This was actually a set of four and three of them broke in transit to get to me. So we will be wrapping this very carefully. Um, and just know that, yeah, you know, it's, it's thin glass. Um, but it's so cute. Yeah. So cute. Um, and then in the theme of strawberries, here's this little, um, milk canister, but you can do it. You can do whatever you want with it. Um, I'm putting this up for request. I've been using this for the past, what, 30 something years. And every time I need Karen, I just do this. But lately she's grown a spine and she gets annoyed at I me. I try to do like a Pavlov thing where I'm like, oh, Sarah needs cookies. <gasps> Speaking of, Sarah's daughter, Juliet, joined Girl Scouts. And I'm so yeah. happy to have a Girl Scout in the family. I mean, we, were you in Girl Scouts? Yeah, I was you in were... Daisies and Brownies. Okay. But then I think we stopped at Juniors. Okay, so I, I think I did up to Juniors for a year and then I joined band and mom was like, you gotta pick one thing because I've got four kids. Um, and I'm so excited that she joined and I'm going to spend a thousand dollars. She's on very excited cookies. to sell cookies. Juliet is, but that's not until March. We just had our first little meeting the other night where I asked the leader, I was like, how much of a percentage do the girls actually get from, um, the, um, the, the sale of the Girl Scout cookies? And it was kind of loud. It was raining. We were all outside. You know, people were wearing masks and stuff. And I thought she said eight cents. And in front of everybody, I'm like, what? I was like, oh my gosh, like that's ridiculous. And I'm just going to donate to the troop. Like that's, I cannot believe that the Girl Scouts would do that. And, and she kind of looked at me like, oh, well, I mean, you know, we made like a thousand dollars, you know, last year with my troop. And I really didn't think anything else of it, guys. So I'm talking to Karen yesterday and I'm like, hey, guess how much of a percentage the girls get from these cookies? And you know, Karen's guessing and I'm finally like, I'm like, it's eight cents. And um, and I was like, and I don't know how they do it. I was like, the leader said that they made a thousand dollars last year. And Karen's like, oh, I already showed that. Oh, it doesn't matter. It's dumb, dumb. Dumb. Karen, you're so stupid. And so, an and so I'm telling Karen, I'm like, well, she made a thousand dollars, you know, last year with her trip. And Karen goes, Sarah, that's like, over 10,000 10, boxes of cookies. And I kind of sat right? there for a second and I was like, you know what? I'm wondering now if she said 80%, not eight cents. And yes, I'm an we idiot. We looked it up on the Girl Scout website. It's like my first time it's, meeting. Well, it's like 65 to 75%. It's like my first time meeting all these women. And, and I had I, I did text her yesterday and she was just laughing with me or at me. I don't, I don't know. But And did she reconfirm that she said 80%? Yeah. Well, I mean, like she was like, oh, no, it's fine. I do something like that all the time. Like, I mean, I don't think she wanted to be like, yeah, we were all talking about you after you left. Like, what the hell's wrong with you? But... That's on first impressions, guys. It's great. Whoops, the daisies. We've all had mis misunderstandings. Have we? <sighs> These are two little duck figurines they come together. Yes. They're I... not. I thought they were salt and pepper shakers, but they're not. I want to say I probably. If. Sydney might have actually picked these up. I'm not sure, but they're really cute. So, qu real quick to go back to misunderstandings, mishearings. Some of you may know this story, but. And this actually came up on like my time hop or something because it was like maybe a week ago, 11 years ago that Ryan proposed to you, something like that. Yeah. And so Sarah called me when it happened and she said, I'm sitting on a bench with my fiance. And I was like, what? and I freaked out. I was like, what? What? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What? Like, why? How? And she, you can kind of tell that she's like confused. And I, and I, said, she was like, I said something like, well, cause she was like, what oh my gosh, doing? why? What is she doing there? And I was like, what? what? And, I, and, and you're I, like, why is Beyonce there? Why is she there? You're like sitting right next to her. And I was like, no, 
No, no my fiance. And I was like, oh. And she knew that Ryan was proposing. No, no I don't think I knew. You didn't? Maybe mom I don't think I knew. I think only mom and dad knew. Mm -hmm. um, all right, well. So, uh, yeah, that's a good story we've all too. been there. This is a cat cake pan. I have a feeling that this is going to be the most popular item. So bake. many of you bake, but also we have so many cat lovers that are subscribers. And I got to say, I am loving all of your photos oh, I know. when your you share cats. that your cat gets in the boxes. It's so funny. Picture frame. Um, should we tell them about mom's story? I mean, I feel like. I mean, we could, but we, do we want to like, I can, I can probably splice a picture in if we talk. We could, or we could show a picture. So Sarah and I, so our mom's been looking for a dog for a really, really for a long, long time. time, like probably almost a year now. And then quarantine happened and they haven't left. They don't leave the house. My, our parents, they don't, they don't go anywhere. Um, so she's lonely. Oh, cause I was washing these. So it's, Ugh. well, sorry. There's five cents wasted. Um, and, um, and so she had told us a while back, you know, I just want, I want a dog. I want a dog. I want it to be like really unique looking. Get me a dog. And, um, and so we did, we finally, we found one that mm -hmm. looked like a little raccoon because our dad is obsessed with raccoons. This is like, you know, like a little trinket dish or butt base or, mm -hmm. or whatnot. Um, and so, yeah. And so trinket we're so dish. excited. So that's also why, like, we've been a little hectic a little busy well because we have to take we the dog to the vet and you know just make sure that she's yeah and so we've been making trips to, to tampa to see our fam to see our mom um but yeah and so we've got a new little sister yep these little bee cups bee that's what they i mean yeah they do they look like they got yeah they look like bumblebees and they come as a set so um so i'm going to show this is a, a um i would love to keep these together um the set of four, but, um, I just love, I was going to keep these, but I've got so many of these kinds of pictures at our, my house already. I don't need any more. A little cream jar or a bud vase. Um, and this, I'm really excited. This, the, the, um, boot, the 1971. Yeah. Sydney's mom is the one who found that. She sent that to us a while ago. So. I had it displayed for a while. Well, the reason that I'm excited for this one is that. So this is a 1971 calendar, but it is going to match up with the dates of 2021. Oh, so I didn't know that. how do you know that? I looked it up. No, I'm, I'm kidding. I just knew I'm really good at math and I just knew no, because I was looking at the calendar and I noticed that Christmas was on um, a Saturday in 1971. And I was like, Christmas is going to be on a Saturday in 2021. And um, so I'm going to check it out. And so I double, just double checked it makes me want to keep it. and uh Oh, I shouldn't have said anything, but so okay. while you have this up for 2021, it is, it matches all of the dates. And I made sure that like leap year and all of that wasn't a factor, but, um, but I just thought that was cool. That's cool. Right? Yep. That's funny how, that's funny how time works. <laughs> Little figurines. All right. And these will come as a set so that they can dance together. And... Yeah. So I found those at an estate sale and, and only because there were so many subscribers that have said, I collect Victorian figurines. And I thought that would be a fun little, because we haven't had figurines before. Mm -hmm. So I'm curious to see how, yeah. how you guys respond. I love that one. So cute. So cute. Guys. Just a little black clutch, but the clasp is really cool. And we got this for all of our Hobbit lovers. Mm -hmm. Little basket purse. I have a confession. I've never seen Lord of the Rings. Wow. And Joe's been um, asking me to watch it, but he always asks me at like 1030 at night. And, and I said, I can't start like, like this whole, this whole, you know, series at 1030 at night. So I'm like, oh, guys, um, yeah, I've seen that in there, but I was just gonna leave it. Oh, okay. We'll make it a surprise if anyone requests this. First. It's a used handkerchief. Um, a, a cloth beaded, uh, cream purse and then it does have the metal metal chain 
sequin and beaded. And that one's small. missing just a few beads, but you really can't. It's not bad nope. at all. I love this one. It's so cute. Black and white beaded. Then we have a small white beaded cloth clutch, a purse. That's the Whitting and Davis. It is. Well, what does yeah. the inside of that one look like? Because um, I know that there was one that I was going to put up. That one's good though, isn't it? Yes, this one is good and it does come with... Um, uh, Actually, I think I took the lining out of the bad one. Yeah. But this one is in excellent condition. And I know some of you are probably going to email about Halloween boxes this year or this month. Um, we had a lot of you last month who said that you wanted the, you know, your box to be like Halloween themed. And I think we got everyone Halloween stuff. And then we made, I think it was 20 something pre-made pre -made box, Halloween they boxes. Sold. They all sold. Um, we have a very limited amount of Halloween stuff left. And we did it the way we did it, like getting it out earlier so that you could wear it the whole month of October. Um, a lot of you, if your box ships on the 25th, um, definitely if you're international, you won't get your box by Halloween. Um, and some of you, even in the States, just with the way the post office has been lately, you might not get your box until Halloween. So, um, so I mean, feel free to say, oh, I want something Halloween. Oh, so a lot of the premium boxes have these necklaces, the one that I'm wearing now, which mm -hmm. I don't think you'll really be able to see, but that's a little skull charm. This is for request. Um, we have a couple of these left, and then there are a couple other ones that you'll see. You'll see it for request on Instagram. Um, and definitely like request those. We have a couple little Halloween items there for request, but we, again, we cannot guarantee that your box is going to get to you by the 31st because we, um, don't control the, the post office. Yeah. But, um, if I can, if I can not be busy <laughs> this weekend, um, then, well, um, well, I was gonna say, cause I have stuff at home to make a couple more Halloween boxes. I took some stuff, um, to make some more Halloween boxes. So I'm going to try to go ahead and get that um, done. This is just a randomly busy week because Juliet's going to her dance class tonight yeah. and then tomorrow we're going to mom's, but I'll be home tomorrow afternoon and Friday right now, I don't have anything. Like I could bring the kids here, but I don't have to. So probably, so Friday's what, the second? Yes. So probably the day before this video goes live or on Saturday, there will be a few more pre-made Halloween boxes in the shop and, and add-on items. we'll promote, I mean, we'll, you'll see this already. So I mean, go ahead and check, to go, to the, go to the page. Go look. See. Some of you have Google alerts because there are like five of you who, when we post something in the shop, we don't say anything. And um, because the way the system is, we have to post things like one at a time, which is kind of a pain. It's not like, like everything's already listed, but we have to hide it. And then we have to like unhide it one at a time. There's no way to be like, we have 40 items that we want to list right now. But so it's like, by the time I'm done listing, 40 items, like 20 of them have sold before I'm even done listing them because you girls have Google alerts and, um, and that's and great. Hey, I mean, yeah, that's, you know, yeah, hey, get, get on it. Um, thank you yeah. for supporting us. Yeah, guys. Seriously. Um, oh yeah. That's all. I'm, okay. We have to stand up because we have to do scarves. Scarves. And, yeah. and so Sydney lingerie. last month, um, went to an estate sale that had a ton of lingerie. Some of you got some of that lingerie last month, but we didn't put an even up for request because um we knew, oh, I, no, I think it came in too late. I think it came in like the day after mm. we did the request video. So we have some really, really cute lingerie stuff. Marie yeah. boxes, um, go ahead and request the lingerie because um, you can do that. Obviously, Lorene's can request whatever Did we you want. mention upgrading? Oh, yeah. Um, we might take on one or two new Lorene subscribers this month. Um, but for the most part, it's, it's the same as last month. We love you girls so much and thank you for not canceling or, um, or skipping yet. Um, but, um, we're still, we're still pretty much at the max for Lorene's, but, um, we did have a bunch of Marie's who last month had said, can I go ahead and upgrade to the Lorene, um, next month. this next month. And I know I think I've already done two of them. I already did mm. it just after they were charged this month, but, um, yeah, if you're a current Marie subscriber and you had already reached out to us about upgrading to the Lorene, or if you hadn't, but you knew that you wanted to, go ahead and reach out to us and we're going to get you set up with that before we um, we sell it out. By the time this video is posted, it, it'll it be Well, technically it will sold out mode. be in sold out mode because we're not accepting any brand new, new Lorenes. I don't know. I figured we would take on just a couple. Oh. I just I feel, know. I don't okay. know. I just feel like... I feel like that's I mean, safe. we just can't take on the amount that we normally yeah. do. And unfortunately, that's just because 
Shopping has gotten a little bit more limited. Well, pricing of items pricing has increased is like a lot. Through the roof. Guys, we went to a thrift store yesterday and there was a vintage purse that I wanted and it was cute, but it, it wasn't by anybody. It was just like, it was a gold box purse and, um, and, and it had like, um, jack wires on the side and, and it was really cool. And I was like, that's really cool. And um, it was $750 in the glass case at like OMG thrift. Sarah. I don't know if you can Oh, I'm say sorry. What? I can't name. call them out for having an absolutely ludicrous price. And now, so there's the they other comment thing. and be like, hey, I'm going to school you. And this is a purse that was owned no. by Marie Antoinette. Fine. And... I hope they do. And if that's the case, then don't throw it with a bunch of plastic jewelry on Fair. the bottom level of some dirty glass case. Okay. It's all about the marketing of it. Thank you. I really don't mind paying like premium price for something that's been like cleaned up and displayed and you can talk to me about the story. But if you can't, no, that's it's not okay. Lot. But there's also all that stuff going on right now where they're saying just because, um, you know, people are just very much into no more fast fashion, lots of people are shopping at thrift stores. And so they're raising their prices because, um, you know, thrift stores used to be for people who, you know, couldn't afford to go to, you know, the mall or whatever. And, um, and now, I mean, I, I buy, I buy a lot of the kids clothes at thrift stores now. I mean, I'm there and a lot of the stuff is just brand new. Most of the stuff that I donate is brand new because the kids grow so freaking fast. I but, um, but I did read that, that it's like the whole gentrification now of, um, of, um, secondhand shops because they know that they can charge the prices. Yeah. But unfortunately the price point of our boxes started like five years ago before this became a thing. And so what we used to pay for items has raised like almost 50% in the five years. And, um, which is why you saw why, increases in prices. Like, well, it was just a little increases in and... prices. We just, we got rid of that, the Juliet, we got rid of the, the accessory box where if you're not familiar, when we first started out, we had, was it $25 or $30? I think it was 25, 25 and, um, two accessories you got. And, and, um, but like all the other boxes, we gave you more and, um, but like, it just it just got to the point where we made zero money on it um so yeah anyways so that's why so that's why we're not getting as many clothes in and we don't like to run into the situation where we're having to email you consistently saying we don't have anything for you yeah. we don't have anything it for bums you. us out because it, it feels like we're bad at our jobs well thank god for sydney sydney's like a She's life she is a life saver like I feel like we would have had to cancel the Lorene's by now if it yeah. wasn't for her because she, she does, I would say, I'd say 60% of the clothing shopping Sydney does. She's in Nashville and, um, uh, but she goes, she goes to States Knoxville. all around. Yeah. Yeah. Knoxville. Yeah. She's great. We love She's her. Amazing. Um, okay. a good one. Guys, how about some scarves okay. and, oh, sorry. Did I just, oh, oh, sorry. Okay. 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 Oh, and I, sh I we should say that like yes, the is your brooch available for request? No, this is mine. Okay, so I'm the only then. thing that's available for request that we are wearing because normally we say, oh yeah, the rings we're wearing or the earrings we're wearing or the you know the brooches. Unfortunately, everything that I'm wearing today belongs to me, and I really we really have, love. We have one of these. Do we have one of these? We have one of these. Um, so this is I a vintage gonna, inspired. That actually will probably go in a pre-made box though. Okay, this is a vintage inspired brooch. Um, it's uh, but you know we got it. We got them last year, and yeah, I absolutely and then, love them. This necklace, and then there's Sarah's. <laughs> okay okay um all right uh show us what what we got all Sarah. right so. well, i started with square scarves so these are square and then we, we run into long and i'm music, just gonna yeah um stirrups so you have enough time to um this is like a tie-dye purple this is like um Austria or or some um something of that nature. We've showed this one before. I think this is this is a Vera. Vera, and it's like a coat of arms. Yes, Vera coat of arms. Um, this has got also like the just maybe. I mean, yeah, I it's hard to tell. Mayan. Mayan. It's hard, you know, it's hard because like no matter what you say these days, somebody's gonna find it. Well, not not so much when that, she... but also, um, 
I feel like you guys also, because we sometimes we don't know what a coat of arms is or what where where it's coming from, and you guys educate yeah. us because sometimes we just forget. Like we put up the scarves and then we forget to to research. And I I try. Fish. Yes, this one has fish. I always I always think that it's floral, and then I see it in horses. Um, geometric yellow. This is yellow and navy blue. In case you're not getting that on your screen, um, just a fun. Um, this is nautical, I believe. Um, that's a fun longer one. Um, yes, so these are um, uh, longer have, scarves. We have yes, we do. Yeah, so, so we've got a couple. This is why we're showing it. We've got a couple of the sunflowers. Then kind of an Art Deco purple and orange black watches. Stop watches. Um, another fun um, fish print, brown and blue polka dot. That's a long scarf. And now we're hitting mm, yeah. Christmas. We decided to show some Christmas scarves to get you guys prepared for the holiday season because it's never too early well, again, cause you, to start. I start right after. Sometimes I start before Thanksgiving. Um, and this year. Oh, I thought your hair was met because at first I was like, what happened to her hair? And then I realized that it's the headpiece. Oh gosh, what a day! I don't know how you work with me. <laughs> I love this one. This one's really nice. Oh, and I love this one too. Yeah, little Christmas oh, wait, you know ornaments. What? So this one actually has. Well, there's some red. Is the oh, red on that side too? Yes. Okay, everyone. So this one, it is adorable. But as you can see, some of the red has bled. Um, but if that is something that does not bother you, then um, remember that scarves come with like more than one typically. So. Yeah, that we like to but pad that. It's really pretty. Okay. Okay. Um, so, I'm gonna take off my. Um, me. I'm just gonna stand right here. I guess you're gonna do the whole thing. Do you want me? Do you want to do it? I don't mind. Okay. House coat. This is gonna be an extra small. That's perfect, Sarah. Cute. Another house coat. Is that like a satin? I mean, this is going to be multiple sizes. This could go to an extra large. Um, if you're a Marie and you're requesting we don't have your measurements, this is going to be like a small medium. If you don't have yes. your measurements and you're nervous about something, just shoot us your measurements and just let us know what your measurements are and we'll put it up against this. But most of the stuff with lingerie, unless it's the slip slips, like stuff like this, I mean, this could fit, this could fit me, this could fit, um, I would say up to I like a anybody. 40, yeah. 40, something yeah. bust and hip i love this sweet one yeah that's like a periwinkle this reminds me of the nikon that juliet had do you remember that <gasps> yeah i do she wore it when she had lice so we have a really funny picture of her oh my god she was such a little baby and actually i guess she never had them harrison had them and we just pre-treated her but we have a picture of them on our stairs like dancing with those stupid caps on yeah friggin lice is that velvet? It's a, yeah, it's like a velour, and it's really... Yeah. Very beautiful um, purples and blues. Oh, I love I this one. Know, Look at that one fun too. zipper, you guys. Look at this. So 70s. Isn't Young who really likes the house dress type stuff? Yeah. She would look cute in this. She would look cute. So, Catherine, do you like this? Because Many of you probably have seen Catherine. She's Cat Young yeah. Creates on YouTube. She does lots of different things, but she also does and she read. And she wrote a book. She's and she a published book. author um, on how to speak um, online. We should do an appreciation post one day that's like, hey, thank you to everybody that's done Redbird unboxings. Mm -hmm. So if you've done a Redbird unboxing, shoot us an email, a separate email, and say, hey, I've done Redbird unboxings because we sh we should do an appreciation yeah. post and tag yeah. everybody. Because for real, guys, like the reason that we've grown is is because of you. Like we've worked with just a handful of influencers who have been amazing as well because um, we haven't ever been able to pay anybody. And um, so they do it, you know, for the product and for the love of it and because they just are just supportive, amazing people. And so they do it and then you girls word of mouth I just it's yeah so it's you know really, what it's really I think... nice because that saves us like thousands upon thousands of dollars of marketing money that we would have had to spend yeah to be able to um so like actually make some money I'll, I'll include in the newsletter to say if you've done a Redbird video send us a screenshot of you if you want to be featured on our page and just do like an appreciation and hey follow these people on YouTube 
It's all about it's all about the cross promotion, guys. Yeah, that looks like a little Christmas. It does. Nightgown. I love the cuffs on those, the lace. So you can see the lace around the collar, and then there is it's lace. All the way to my feet, too. Um, the lace. There's a load of laundry that's just been finished from that I think we're gonna oh so I'll also have you start the request video for the clothing. Okay. And then and I'll hang up some of this. It'll only take me like five minutes and we'll throw it out there. Most of these are medium larges. This one has pants in it as well, so it's like a long night shirt, but it does have some pants mm -hmm. underneath. <clears throat> I love yeah. this. This, this really, really pretty. This I is gonna be an extra small just because of the Yeah, I I it's stared at this. I didn't even try it on. Um, but really it is cream. stunning. The like the the you know nice warm cream. I love the flutter sleeves on these. And this is more like a flannelly type material. Mm -hmm. Super warm, comfy, cozy. Nice mint green. That's fun too. And that's like a terry cloth. Mm -hmm. This has this has a couple spots. Sorry guys, my I, I'm doing a switch. Uh, close your eyes. I don't want you to get motion sickness. You probably are. I don't think I'm holding it the best long night shirt kind of like a sage this is really pretty too just a little thin just incredibly row. delicate this is like a long robe kimono mm -hmm. love that coral okay. oh sorry guys Whenever, I always think of Dirty Dancing, whenever I hear Coral, when she's like, oh, I knew I should have brought my Coral shoes. Oh, and I'm a parent, Honey. so when I hear it, I hear, Coral, Coral, because she's trying to fight the fish that kills all of her children. What? In Finding Nemo. Marlin, Marlin and Coral. That's Nemo's mom. Oh my gosh, that's so oh my sad. Gosh. Spoiler for anybody who hasn't seen gosh, Finding Nemo. It geezer. happens in like the first. It's literally like the first minute of the movie. They're like house hunting, and he's like, Marlin's like, look at this amazing house I found, and Coral's like, yeah, it is amazing. And they're like, should we live here? And they're like, yes. And then they look <sighs> down at all their babies, and you know, fish have like a billion babies. So they're looking down at their babies, and they're like, oh, I love my babies. They're amazing. And then it's like a shadow comes over and, um, and it's, I don't know what it's called, but it looks like an alligator gar, but it's not. It's like an eel that I guess eats fish and, and Coral's like looking at her babies because the eel's looking at her babies and she's like, you're not going to get my babies. I'm going to fight you, even though obviously she's not going to win, but that's just a mother's love, I guess. This one is super, super cute. And, um, and so Marlon's like, Coral, no, Coral get back coral don't do it and she's like her eyes are all darting and then she darts down and marlon's like no and he swims after her but the eel like hits him in the head and he blacks out and when he wakes up coral's gone all of the babies except nemo are gone and marlon's like i'm gonna start crying marlon's like i'm never gonna let anything happen to you and that's why i gotta tell you i feel like nemo could have been a little bit more understanding like, this is why I talk to my children about things that go on in the world so that they know that when I say, no, you can't go ride your bike around the neighborhood by yourself, they know that it's not because I'm a bad mom. They know it's because child predators are going to come up and try to kidnap them and then sell them on the black market and I won't be able to find them. So maybe, so if you guys want to watch more videos of Sarah explaining Disney movies that you've already seen. Maybe they haven't. Um, haven't. Uh, Ryan hasn't seen Mulan. This is that, my favorite one. Yeah. I love this guys, one. Guys, I might steal this one. It's so fun. Has you not seen this one yet? I haven't. I might, guys, that might end up in it's my really closet. Cute. Love it. You know that's my favorite color. Hey, have you guys seen Cinderella? Let me tell you about Cinderella. <laughs> 
That's it's another. That's here's, a, here's on her father for choosing someone so awful. No, she didn't know that she was that awful until he passed. Mm, when he died no, is when the mother. Hide. I'm sorry, you're telling me. And that also. That stepmother hid from him through the entire courting process. I, I don't think it was a courting process. I think it was an arrangement. Like, no. let's keep in mind it was what? Guys, correct me if I'm wrong, but Cinderella takes place in, like, the, like, th- this one's gonna be 1300s? I don't know. But I don't think that it was, it was an arrangement between the two of them in the original story. I kind of wanted to keep this one, too. You're going to have to make a decision. I know. Ugh. Man, and I have a black robe that's the exact same material, and it's got feathers around it. It's so tacky, but it would look so... I actually, I didn't realize that this one would fit us. I might keep this one. No! I don't think my boobs are big enough. I don't think my boobs are big enough, but maybe. Guys... It's, everything's still for request. Yeah, I'm still request it. Still request it. She hasn't tried on any of these, so who knows? This is one that I did try on and I ended up not keeping because um it was just a little tight. And I have because I took the other one that was like this. Tom and this goes all the way down. The lace on the side. And these are little like, you know, blouses, bed jacket things. Not bed jacket, what am I thinking? No, you're you're right. Um I always think of grease with, with the ones that are coming up, like the really oh, this short one has pants. ones. Um when they're at Riz's, um, Rizzo's house. This one, I feel like, I know it's a nightshirt, but I feel like it could just be, like, with jeans, too. Yeah. It's really cute. This one. Oh, my God. I love this one. It's so cute. So 50s. Oh, my gosh. You guys, look at it. So, if you've got, like, a little white, um. Or, like, little, slip. yeah, white slip or, like, little bloomers or whatever we do have some half slips um we actually have quite a few half slips um but i'm not going to show them through request because that's gonna yeah so if you need hard. anything okay guys we'll be right back i'm gonna press pause okie dokie guys so sarah is in the laundry room just getting together a couple of the items that we purchased yesterday um and they were just washed so um she's hanging those up and then she'll be back to show those but i'm gonna go ahead and get started so that we're not here all day long um okay so i'm gonna start here with um some white blouses like we've said in the past we have several white blouses but it seems that the ones that we frequently get tend to have like a 38 and upwards uh bust so um for those of you who have a you know 37 and under we're searching for you um don't don't fret we're, we're you know we're still looking but just keep that in mind so um um cool 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 all right so this one Oh my God, I'm so nervous. I'm here by myself. Okay. This one is about a medium. Just plain. It's got a little um, lace trim. So it is a large to extra large. So it's got that larger collar with the embroidery. Um, and then we have the frilly neck. This one will be a large. And then um, another thrill, uh, frilly um, right here in the front with the high, high color. This one's going to be a medium to large. So you can see that lace detail. Um, this is going to be a small to medium. So it's got that larger collar there. This is also more of a, um, a cream. Same with this one. This is more of a cream rather than that white this one's going to be um, a medium to large short sleeved on um, that uh, sweet collar this one's going to be a large to extra large and then we have a uh, like a more of a yellowish um with the cute collar and matching sleeves 
This one's going to be a large to extra large. And then, oh, I didn't even say, I mean, you guys, we, we said this in the beginning. If you see something um, you like, take a screenshot, send everything in one email to info at Ripper Vintage Box. Wait until we have our Instagram items up as well. So you get everything in one email. We want everything in one email because otherwise sometimes your second email gets, you know, maybe like we see your first email, we put your box together and then we see a second email and then we're like, oh man, um, this is going to be a large to extra large. large we've got the pearl beading on the collar as well as the pockets on the breast i just showed this one duh um off white with red trim this one is a large and then some embroidery very perfect for our autumnal season. Um, this one is going to be a large. Oh, and then another, um, this is a short sleeve with red trim. This one's going to be a medium to large. Next up are some skirts. We have a dark jean. Um, this one, I'm 5'9". This one hits me at my shins. Um, this is going to be for a medium. It does have um, an elastic waist, so there is some playroom there. And then we have this, you know, fun, funky um, 80s, 90s elastic waist skirt. Love the bright colors. This um, is going to be for a medium to large. And then a red and gray paisley. Um, and also, guys, these these all are the same length, so they all go to my shins. So again, I'm 5'9", so you'll be able to tell where it falls on you. Oh, I was putting a few stuff there. Um, oh, yeah, you can just start now. there, because. All right, some great autumnal skirts. We have um, this plaid one. Um, it's going to be short, hits me at my knees, or just above my knees. It's going to be for a small to medium. Um, right here we have um, a tweed. It is um, like a brown and blue. It's going to hit me right below my knees. It's going to be for small. No give there on that one or the other one. Whoops, a daisies. Okay. And then checkered tan and blue and red. This one's going to hit me just at my knees. It's going to be for a small. We have a navy blue pencil skirt. This one's going to be for an extra small. Hits me right below my knees. It does have the belt loops. There you go, it's a little blown out. Just a um, classic tan. Um, does have pockets. It's gonna hit me just above my knees. This would be for about a medium. And then love this skirt. I feel like we showed this, but it's pleated. It does need a little bit of a steam, but um, it's, um, got that large paisley pattern. It's going to be for a small and it hits me at my shins. So we've got a lot of cardigans. Um, there'll be multiple sizes, you know, so if you love it, request it. I mean, I would say most of these, like, I mean, it wouldn't be like an extra small or mm -hmm. extra, extra large, but, um, anything kind of in between I think you could mm -hmm. make work this one this one actually is an extra small <laughs> cute 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 yeah. an open cardigan it looks okay. so small when it's um um did I already show this blue one I don't know Show it again just in case. A beautiful burgundy. I love that. Um, oh, I didn't, I didn't show this one already. Yeah. And this is, yeah. Bright blue. And then the. Oh, so pretty. Yeah. I might steal this. God, I know someone's going to take it. 
all right so guys we're going back to skirts real quick this one um a blue floral um it's gonna fit a small hits me just below my knees um love these beautiful bright colors this one is going to be a small hits me at my shins so it's a little bit longer and then we have a um we have shorts cotton shorts um high-waisted 90s um you know the the mini floral this is going to be for a small a fun little holiday sweater this is some good stuff open best. i'm excited for this month are you yeah i'm i'm excited i think the sweaters are amazing it's cheap um and i i love and there's it there's one on the back too i love it when we match the seasons to the clothing because sometimes it just sometimes it's hard to do that yeah if we can't find the certain stuff but those of you that live in those northern states and it's and canada cool. In Germany. Oh wait, no. I'm sorry. We don't do international. I am such a jerk. I go, I just I completely forgot that we don't do international for Lorene's um, anymore. But um, oh, we do for Mer oh yeah, no, just for. But we've got Lorene. scarves. We um, do, but they're not really like winter scarves. I mean, we have a couple that we are have the some, winter scarves. Like, this is like an extra small. Um. Uh. Anyway, but yeah, so like a tight knit. Work. In the cooler states back to skirts back to skirts um this one is going to be a um a large extra large paisley pattern this one hits me um right at my shins um another i love the autumnal paisley on this one this one's going to be for a small hits me just below my shins and then just a really pretty pink plaid. This is going to be for an extra small. Hits me, um, it's a shorter one, so it hits me uh, right above my knees. These are gonna be extra small shorts. This is gonna be a small denim dress. Super tight on the waist. It's a really flattering cut. Mm -hmm. I love oh, this one. The colors. Yeah. It's, it is just such a pretty dress. Oh, it's a little bit sheer. You'll probably have to wear a slip and that'll be kind of like a small medium. Mm -hmm. so I, yeah, the, I the cut on this one, I feel like we've shown this we one. Have. Have we have. You know, I mean, it's, it's a hard, well, it's a hard pattern because it's orange and it's a bold pattern. So we don't have that many girls in this size you know, where the measurements fit that like orange and bold patterns. Yeah, so, but it's a, an you know, 80s does 40s But this style. is why, this is why we put stuff up for requests too, because somebody who maybe has said, I only like small florals, so we would never pick this for them, but they might see this and be like, you know what, that actually would be perfect for this or this or this, so. Have All some right. fun, guys. And this is like a large, extra large. And obviously you would, you know, belt it and throw on some heels. Throw on a black cardigan, tie it up top. Or knee-high boots. Get a scarf that kind of matches like a deeper purple. Oh my gosh. Mix some patterns. Um, all right. So we have an extra small black pleated skirt. This one hits me right at my knees. This is going to be a medium, um, uh, kind of like a, kind of, it's kind of seersucker. Yeah, seersucker um, coral skirt. This one hits me um, below the knees. And then a fun Hawaiian pleated um, skirt. This one is a small to medium. It's going to hit right below my knees. Ah, oh, my hair. What happened? The hanger pulled it, it out. I'm okay. <laughs> this is pretty sheer. So black slip underneath, but a really, really pretty cut. It zippers up the back. Oh, I, I love this one. So a beautiful shift lace dress in kind of a show the back, show the back mustard. Maybe a little bit brighter than that. It's a little bit sunnier than than that. It's really pretty. Guys, give this dress a shot, please. We have been sitting on it. It is an 80s does, like, what would you say? I mean, I, mean, 40s, I would say 40s. 40s. Or like a wedding dress? Um, like at the, the courthouse? The that would peplum be... on the back? Yes. Yeah, if really this pretty. fit me, I would be wearing this for, like, my rehearsal or something. Like or these power dress. Cute. 
Karen's wedding was supposed to be November 21st. First. And um, obviously that's not happening because of the coronavirus. Um, and um, so, so we postponed to May, which we're still prepared to like move our, like we're prepared for our guest list to be from 140 down to about 50 that we're kind of mentally preparing ourselves, which is sad. But we just want everyone to feel comfortable. Yeah. But Sarah had a great idea. Yeah. We're going to take, my husband and I are going to take Karen and Joe out. Um, and I guess On if, the 21st. If they're doing Ubers, we're going to take an Uber. If not, then Ryan and I just, well, Ryan won't drink. I'll still, I'll still drink. And we're going to take them out and we're going to get all dressed up. And I'm going to give a speech in front of the whole restaurant about. In front of multiple restaurants because we're going to go to multiple My little places. baby sister who was supposed to get supposed married. To get married. But it's okay because we're just postponing it. It's fine. That's what they say. I mean, we've been together for so long. It's like we're already married. It we've is. been together. We. I just call him my brother at this point. People when, are like, yeah. When when we get married, because our anniversary is like in April, and we're getting married in May, we will have been together for nine years. Nine years. Yeah, um, you guys have been married for, or you guys have been together. We've been together for nine Ryan years. And I been married. Um, you know, so it's kind of like. Yeah, yeah, let's get married, but we can wait. I think because for all the other, like, legality reasons, we're all, we're all fine, you know? But, yeah. I mean, I want to get married. We want to get married, and we're sad that we have to postpone it. But it's like, what's a couple more months when you've been together for... Well, and you can train your puppy to walk down the aisle. Mashed Potatoes is my dog. He's a rescue. We just got him. Like, a, like. well, I guess, no, we talked about it last month. I thought you did. Yeah. He's a but Maybe hound. he was sick last month. Maybe you didn't. Maybe you wanted to just wait and make sure that oh. everything was going to be So okay. Joe and I found a dog, or Sarah's neighbor found a dog on the side of the road in August. Couldn't take care of it. And Joe and I were like, well, we'll take care of it. And hopefully somebody will come forward as an owner. No one came forward. And so he's ours now. Um... And we're taking care of him. We're saving his life because he has so many things. And now I have wrong a nephew. With him. He has lots of things. Um, this is about this is an extra small pleated. Um, it's it's cut. It's got like it's a very faint coral, floral. Um, but yeah. So Sarah's got a new nephew, and she just bought him a three month bark box, and he got toys, and he he loves. It's like a beer bottle. This is gonna be for a, um, a medium. Um, he loves this like beer bottle toy. He's an asshole. <laughs> um, this is blue jean, very light, extra small, hits me at my shins. The other two um hit right below the knees. But yeah, we call his name is Mashed Potatoes, and we call him Mash for short. This is pleated. I'm not sure if that's showing up or not. It's hard because the ribbon's there. We showed this last month, I think, mm -hmm. but it's a little psychedelic. 70s. Um, it's thicker, so this would be great with like tights and boots for oh. this season. Yeah. This is fun, just like kind of like a 90s grunge mm -hmm. type situation. Oh, black you know tights. This is this is a great dress. You should try this on. I actually might with like some, because I just got some over the knee boots, guys. Oh. So also for Karen's bridal shower, um, I was taking her to um, to Sleepy Hollow, and I wanted a spooky we shower. Had a, I mean, we had it all planned out, and um, but I went ahead and last year when all the boots were going on sale because we knew we were going to be we knew we were going to be going to Sleepy Hollow. It's going to be cold. I bought a ton of boots. And um, I bought like four pairs of boots, <laughs> and, uh, and I love them all. I'll sit in my closet, and I'll just wear them in my closet. But keep that for next October. But, um, but th that these the boots that I got would look really cute with this. Yeah, try it so on. This is a great little Beetlejuice dress. We were actually going to dress up as scary characters, and Karen was going to be Beetlejuice, and I was going to be Pennywise. But time just got away from us, and so instead we did. Which it's still nice, and maybe, yeah. you know, we'll still do a fun thing. But I thought, I was like, oh, that'd be great. And Sarah's got a really cool vintage dress that um, has, like, a frilly collar very similar to Pennywise. Mm -hmm. And it was, yeah, it was going to be great. And I was going to find, like, green hairspray and do my hair crazy like Beetlejuice. Um, this is a wool, red, bright um, you know, cherry red skirt. It's going to be for an extra small. Hits me right at the knees. Um, a fun Christmas plaid. Um, this is going to be for an extra small pleated, um, uh, further down. And this hits me right at the knees. 
Um, and then like another great kind of looks similar to Christmassy rose with paisley. This is going to be for a medium, small to medium. Um, hits me right at the knees. I feel like if I could get my waist situated, then I would be wearing these skirts like all the time with like a shirt tied up or a t-shirt with it. But I, I just, yeah, I've got, you have the waist, but no, I, I do have the waist, but then I do have a pooch here, but the skirt hides that. Pooch. No, it doesn't like, cause I've tried. Um, uh, but yeah, I just love them. I love them so much. Yeah. And I have a bunch in my closet that I just haven't really worn because I don't, um, I've tried like different waist trainers, but I've never had a waist. It really, you know, and like waking that, I mean, it's just extra weight, but it has nothing to do with me not having a waist. I've just always been like stick straight. Mm -hmm. Really, but I guess cool. I could just get one of those whalebone corsets and. Oh, yeah. I don't know how you girls do it. You've got so much discipline. I could, I. I feel like it's I worth it. I look at, <laughs> I'm like, that's, that's, yeah. that's what I want. That's the aesthetic I want. Um. I just, I don't know, I guess just to start, you know, it, oh, everything, oh, everything feels exhausting when you're first starting. Mm -hmm. It feels like it's never gonna, it's never gonna work. It's never gonna happen, but oh. we'll see. I mean, now Thanksgiving is coming up and then Christmas. And... Oh, so we talked to our mom and Sarah and, and like Sarah mentioned, our parents, you know, haven't, haven't gone out at all. And, you know, when we go over to visit them, we hang out in the backyard area. Um, but you know, we just, or, or, you know, we go in the pool and we don't, you know, we maybe go into their house to use the restroom real quick. But so we were talking about Thanksgiving here real quick. Um, this is plaid. Um, it's going to go down to my knees. It's going to be for an extra small hounds tooth black and white this is also going to be for an extra small hits me right above my knees this is a shorter one and then a beautiful bright blue linen um this one's going to be for an extra small flares out hits me at my shins it's got pockets um yeah this one has seen some some wear but it's really really cute um, but we, you know, Sarah and her family, they're going to go away. We already booked an Airbnb in the mountains for Thanksgiving. And I used my Southwest points to buy like $300 worth of honey baked ham gift cards. So we're just going to also pick up Thanksgiving dinner. I mean, yeah. I mean, like, so... I planned ahead because we knew, we knew months ago. And this was actually when the kids were going to be going back to school because I asked her, I was like, if the kids go back to school, are you going to feel comfortable with them coming over? And she was basically like, no. And now both of my children have decided that they like, um, Florida virtual school so much that they want to stick with it. So we're going to stick with it until definitely January and possibly the whole year. If yeah. they do well, I'm, I'm a little bit worried that I'm getting more dependent on having them with me all the time because I do find myself getting more panicky if they're gone. Mm. Um, which is not good. Obviously I'm just getting conditioned to seeing them all the time. But, um, but yeah, I've been trying to, well, I told you to ask mom if she thought it was going to happen. Cause if not, then I do think you and Joe should just get an Airbnb. Well, us. I did. And, and I said, you know, mom, half the, or not half the fun, the majority of the fun for Thanksgiving is us staying the night before Thanksgiving, waking up early with my mom, putting, you know, yeah. NBC on and having the parade and, um, and all of that. Like, I haven't even heard anything about the parade if they're doing the does anybody know, know if i don't they're think doing... anybody knows just like like half the world is saying halloween's on and then the other half is like no it's terrible and it's yeah. like what like we can go to disney we can go walking around target with everybody but the kids can't walk around and pick up some candy i know i don't no, i think it doesn't make sense we're still going to probably put out candy at the bottom of our driveway and joe and i are going to hang out at the top of the driveway but anyway, so half the fun is waking up with my mom and cooking. And I said, mom, it's not going to be fun if you've got to cook by yourself. And then Joe and I are going to come over and eat in your backyard. Like yeah. I get that, you know, we want to be together, but you're going to be so stressed out, you know? So she agreed. And so Joe really wants to make a turkey though. He's never made a turkey before. And so he's a little excited about the challenge. Um, when we first moved into our house here in Florida, and it was it was new. It was a it was a new build home that was already built, and so we came and we only had a weekend to find something, and um, and we chose this one. But um, it's important that you know that everything was brand new in this house. Within about two weeks of living there, I decided that I wanted to make 
a turkey. And I did an okay job, but what happened is when I was taking it out of the oven, the pan slipped and all of the juices went all over the oven, under the oven, under everything. You can still see it because I haven't gotten it professionally cleaned and it's been five years. You're gross. Um, but it's like inside. It's like it, it went inside the thing. I just remember standing there and staring at it and Ryan was just looking at me like, cause I think he was thinking that I was going to get upset that I had dropped the turkey mm. when in reality I was like, I've just ruined our stove because in our other house in Texas, we had just moved in to that house. And within a week, Ryan was using like a wok on the stove and he caused a house <gasps> yeah. fire and he burned up like half of our microwave. We just do not, we just don't have, we just shouldn't cook. This is why I'm, I am to go food. don't, uh, there are certain things. This is a longer dress, guys. I got this one because it's it's longer. It hits me at my at my ankles, but because of the point poinsettias. Um, so it's a Jessica Howard fun nineties nineties longer dress. Another striped dress. And actually, I'm going to show the back of this other one really fast because I don't think I did. It's the one that's um, nautical. Oh yeah. So that's the back. Oh wait, I think I did show the back, but just in case, little nautical buttons. Um, this is a super fun um, lace floral, kind of like a 90s style. This one hits me at my shins, just to let you know. But so many of y'all are starting to request 90s um, stuff. And we were getting so much crap for like 90s for a while. And and, and um, people are like, 90s is not vintage. And we're like, uh, but now 90s is. I mean, I'm not. I'm I understand that it's vintage, but I'm still not. Like, we don't, don't like to because it's I like. I can't look at. I can't look at it and be like, "Oh, that's so '90s." My, I I went out with my friend the other day, and her um her 15 year old daughter, 14 year old daughter, came out with us, and she was wearing um uh one of those like sheer shirts with like the the skinny tank top underneath and like high waisted shorts, and I was like. I wore this outfit when I was your age in the 90s. Uh, what, it, you know, it was just so, it's, you know. This is a skirt. This is, this is a yeah. skirt and top. Oh, you hit me in the face. Did I really? I'm sorry. It's okay. It was just the cloth of the. Okay. Oh, my nose. Um, and then, did I show this one, you guys? I don't think I did. This is um a Hawaiian. That's really pretty. Um, cool. Yeah, just super comfy. That's more of a midi length. So. Yeah. I guess my um, shirt. Like five one, yeah. Multiple sizes depending on how you want to wear it. This has that military type feel. Mm -hmm. Got a couple blazers for you. This is um pastels. Be from medium to large. We got a tweed for a small, and then this really sweet linen, linen dress, white, and then blue. Um, this is going to be for a medium. Um, hits me right below the knees, but I just love that blue. So this has a a lot of give right here just because the elastic is older um so it is definitely possible that if you get this you're going to end up wanting to do like a, a nip and tuck in the back but um it's absolutely beautiful it came with a ton of spots on it that i am pretty sure i don't see them i think i got them all out but um if you request it request it thinking if I really look through the material, I might see spots. Do you see, like, because remember they were all over the bottom? There's just so much material. But obviously, no, like, I just mean, looking at it. Like, there's a little bit. I mean, I don't know if it's it's the light if it, or if it's just discoloration. Yeah, but it's not discoloration on the bottom. It was actual right here. spots. I think that might be where the spots were. So let me. But there is so much material. Can you see? I think you can kind of see that. Like, it almost yeah. looks like somebody tried to iron it a little bit on there. Mm -hmm. But again, you can see how much is down here. So it's, um, but it's a tiny little waist. It's going to be like a 26, maybe inch waist, possibly 25. Party time. Um, love this dress velvet. Um, velvet on the top. And then this goes all the way around. And then this belt. 
so pretty. Let me just get that on. Um, cute, cute floral vest. This is gonna be for a large, extra large. And then sequins. This one's going to be for a medium to large, depending on how you want to wear it. Um, we have a couple holiday type jumpers. Um, I'm not going to do any alterations on them, but I will say that I had some of these when I had my Etsy shop and I made them short and then wore like a white blouse underneath or a black blazer with black tights and boots. And that's what I would wear too the Christmas parties when we used to host Christmas parties at our house um when I first had the kids because I love doing play dates and then after like three or four years I was like this is exhausting but they're really it's really fun it's a fun little thing this is just like your basic black jumper like a blue floral Hawaiian mm -hmm. shift day dress got buttons up the side and a pocket gotta have those a fun big skirt pastel just a couple more skirts guys this one's going to be for a small to medium hits me um right below my knees and then an extra small green um wool pleated skirt this one's um a bit longer hits me just above my shins Okay, another jumper. This one's going to be more of a small, medium. Did you get the other clothing? Yeah, they're in my hand. Okay. Are you done? No, I'm oh. just putting these back. Okay. Um, little 90s daisy midi dress this almost feels like it's hairy cloth you can see the belt is with it the skirt isn't like it's not a pencil skirt but um it's more more eight line there's not a lot of room lots of room here all right Okay, guys, this is the last um, 60s green and blue dress, small, hits me below my knees, zippered on the back. Another fun, um, this is more 70s, um, autumnal colors. This is for a small, hits me right below my knees. Um, love this 50s, 60s. Just super lightweight lace overlay on the skirt. This is going to be for an extra small. And then cream. Um, this is going to be for a medium or so. Small, medium. I'm going to show this stuff. Cow really fast. Um, top. Um, it does have pockets. And it hits me just below the knees. Okay, we have like a yellow sweatshirt. And a Hark the Herald Angel Sing sweatshirt. And a Snowy Scene sweatshirt. And a Mickey Mouse sweatshirt. This one had spots on it though. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there's a spot. Mm. There's a spot right there. We tried to get it out, but we couldn't, but it's still, you know, it's still Mickey Mouse. Still Mickey Mouse. If you're a fan. Um Thanks for sticking with us, guys. Oh, kidding. Sarah's got a couple these more. These are extra small, like extra, extra small. Um, and you can either I mean they're short. Like I'd say you'd have to be under five five for them to hit your ankles. Unless you want to wear them like page yeah, boy. Yeah, you could do that too. And then, you know what? If so, y'all are interested in these, actually, because I don't really, I'm not going to show these. Just shorts? I, well, shorts. I just don't even consider them like, yeah. Yeah. Um, great. You guys, thanks for sticking with us. It's been a, it's been a minute. Um, How long has it been? 
uh, so probably about an hour, an hour, a little over an hour. hour. Um, so you know, you know what to do. Screenshot everything. Keep in mind there are Instagram requests, so don't forget about Instagram yeah. requests. Um, head on over there, um, take screenshots of everything, put it into one email. Um, if for some reason you uh, your bandwidth on your email only allows you like ten pictures put in the like your next email you know or send them in succession because um if they come like two days later there is a chance yeah. that we will not see your second email until we're done, styling, until we're done styling so everything in one email um a lot of you have been really cool about putting everything in like a grid so you don't so you aren't using as much storage or much bandwidth or whatever right. and um, you can do that too um there's I don't, I don't remember what the app is that I use, but there are lots of photo apps where you can make collages mm -hmm. of, um, of what you like and, um, you know, get your requests in as soon as possible. Obviously, again, it's not first come first serve, but, um, we had some people who were requesting items on like the 12th and 13th and 14th, um, last month. And it's like every, I mean, thing, it's, it's gone. The stuff is gone, um, by then. So get those requests in early um great all right bye guys <laughs>